Now this Tuesday we had a pretty nice day weather wise across the wiregrass, albeit a little bit on the hot side for a lot of us, but cooler weather is in the forecast. A cold front is slowly coming into the southeast. That's why we do have some showers that have been popping up. Most of it on the east side of the river, just a few sprinkles in the middle sections of the wiregrass. Most of the rain today has been to the north. Uh, points like Birmingham northward in the Huntsville, northern Mississippi, seeing some of that. And that moisture is going to continue to flow in through the day tomorrow, mostly to the north. But as that front moves through, we'll see those rain chances really decrease, maybe about a 20% chance for us as we do head into the afternoon hours. High temperatures lower to middle 80s. That cloud cover out there will help to filter that sunshine just a bit, and then even cooler temperatures will be with us as we head into Thursday and for Friday as that cold front clears the area, but it's going to warm up again as we do head into the first part of the weekend, but overall lower rain chances are expected for us and maybe just a few sprinkles for the next couple of days. Cooler temperatures for the next two days and then for the weekend things will really change ahead of a cold front moving through. We will make it back into the 80s for Saturday. That will also come with some showers and storms Saturday afternoon and then on the back side of that front some extremely cool air and extremely dry air will move into the southeast and we'll actually be able to cool off into the 40s for Monday morning of next week. Here's the, an area of low pressure to our north, a cold front. That's what's holding all that moisture over us right now. High pressure, that's going to build in from the north over the next couple days. That's why those rain chances will really uh, be decreasing as we head into especially Thursday and Friday. Hour by hour for tonight, you can see that front coming through for us. Cloud cover staying with us. That's why we do have that better chance for rain in the river region and points northward into Birmingham. But really, it looks like it's going to be pretty dry as we head into Thursday and on a cool afternoon despite a lot of sunshine out there as we do head into Thursday and and Friday as well for us. So pretty good conditions for high school football this Friday for tomorrow. We'll be starting out in the lower 70s, upper 60s for some of us. And then as we head into the afternoon hours, we'll have those high temperatures in the lower to middle 80s, staying on the mild side as we head into the early evening. But I think our overnight low temperatures for Thursday morning will be a little bit cooler, likely making it into the lower to middle 60s for some of us, getting closer to where we should be for this time of the year. In the tropics, things are quieting down. The area that we are watching, Central America, that has been pretty much dissipating as far as the moisture moving off to the west. No chance of developing a little bit of cloud cover in the Central Caribbean. And this chance area here, not highlighted for a chance of development, but a lot of moisture will be moving to the west into the lesser Antilles, mainly clear as he head into the eastern equatorial Atlantic Ocean. So good news there. 69 degrees for a low temperature for tonight. Then for tomorrow, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds, a few isolated showers and storms. High temperatures lower to middle 80s, 85 degrees for Geneva, 87 south of the border in Bonifay, 84 for us here in Dothan. So looking pretty good uh, with those temperatures in the mid 80s. Certainly uh, try to stay cool and hydrated. If you are going to be working outdoors, a lot of sunshine won't take long for you to maybe overheat and with the humidity high we'll be looking at heat index temperatures creeping up into the lower 90s mostly dry for Thursday and Friday Saturday and Sunday we do have some rain chances with us but much lower rain chances for Sunday Monday that's going to be the coolest day of the week at least in the morning 48 degrees whoa 